Hello everyone, it's Nick here, and we're on the Game Boy Advance, we're looking at Drone Racers, developed by Mobius Entertainment and published by good old THQ in 2003. It's a racing game, it's a racing game built on a rather clever 3D polygon engine, so we'll see how it compares to, well, Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge, which also was polygons, I reviewed a few weeks ago. It's futuristic racing, but in the line of Wipeout or Roll Cage, where you're in a championship and you fire missiles and weapons at people but lots of different modes we've got championship arcade multiplayer we're up to one to four players on that one via a link cable there's 18 drivable cars uh, 18 tracks which features drag racing as well and the cars are based on lego essentially it's high-tech race machines based on the new cars it says here in the instructions from the 2002 lego racers constructions toy range which uh, passed me by. Lots of different teams, as I say. Um, some are unlockable. I don't know what the difference is between all of them. There's the mighty red team there, and here's the unlockable ones: Nitro, Exo Force. But we'll we'll go for Hot. It looks a bit like the Hot Wheels logo for some reason. Hmm, I'm sure that's just a coincidence. But these are Lego cars. Well done, Mobius, with your 3D clever engine. But we'll go into Championship mode, and um, the qualifying is a bit different. Uh, they're based on drag races, so we have two cars in this, a drag car race, no, drag car for that race, and a race car, and by completing them, coming the first three each time, we can get upgrades to speed, acceleration, handling, and grip. So this car's called the Mosquito. Right, I've got to beat my opponent here, but we're in a crappy car to start off with. Let's go. He's on my right-hand side, let's see if he comes past. We're doing manual gears, but we won't have manual gears in the race, just a drag. Oh, there he goes. No, he's gone away again. Oh. oh, there's the boost button. What's that? Right shoulder bar. I was a bit late on the boost there, so we might be able to do better in future. But where does that qualify me for this drone championship? It qualifies me last. Well done. So we're starting at the back of the grid. Different terrains in this game, got city, mountains, deserts, well, canyons as well. Hopefully we'll show you a few. So I'll do the opening championship, we might do the first race of the next championship, should I get there. One little complaint of this, when I did a practice earlier on, it was a little bit easy. So if you're not very good at games, this is a good one for you. And we, do, we all know my gameplay varies from terrible to sort of okay. And have I found it easy? Well... Yes, it's certainly a genre, this. Picking up weapons, as I say, so if you're familiar with that, you can probably jump into this straight away without reading too much the instructions. So, look at these polygons. I love polygon races. It gives it a sense of, um, well, undulation. Nothing undulates more like a polygon game. Commodore Amiga and Game Boy Advance here. Not too many polygon games around, really. First one I come across was Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge, and this doesn't play too dissimilar to that. Uh, they've done really, really well. Uh, look at the uh, the distance of the background. Uh, they've done clever with that because they're moving at different speeds to give you a sense of depth. There's a boost I just collected there, but we've gone into the lead straight away. We're travelling at 280 miles an hour. Does it look like that? Well, not really. But it's good. It renders really well. But bear in mind, we are playing this on a handheld. But I'm in first place. I don't think anyone's going to come near me. There's some weapons there to pick up. We've got a missile, if you can see by the top middle. We can launch that by using the shoulder button. It's not directional, it's not a homing missile, so we have to wait till someone's right in front of us. And no multiple views that I'm aware of, so it's just chase you and that's that. But I can forgive that for a, a Game Boy Advance game. But in 2003, oh look, there's someone's come past me here. So we're three laps. Cut that out. The car doesn't take any damage, so we don't have to repair it, so it's a bit arcadey in that respect. One lap to go. The bins don't start off that tight, but they do get um, a bit more if you go on. A lot of scenery here. It's very varied. Oh, there we go. Blast. That should take him out. Kaboom. Yeah, there's a lot going on, isn't there? Attention to detail on this track, so our hats off to Mobius Entertainment. You've done, you've done very, very well. Did you have this game back in the time, or have you played a polygon race I haven't covered yet on the Game Boy Advance? If so, let me know. I think it works better for racers, to be honest. The cars are actually 2D sprites laid on top of this. Moves quite well, and we've won the race. Hurrah! You saw the map there in the top right, which is standard fare. 
I got gradually quicker. Look, 44, 40, then 37. Well, 38, really. Hooray! That was Boulder Canyon. It doesn't exist in real life, as far as I'm aware. Now I've said that, people are going to Google Boulder Canyon and say, yes, it does, Nick. It's in Colorado or somewhere, or the Rockies, or uh, Romford. Right, here we go. So we've got credits to update the car. We'll go for speed, I think. Is that the best thing to do? Mind you, we did race into the lead straight away, didn't we? We can change the car, but that's just for the drag racing car. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. Should we do it in speed? I think so. That seems to be the stat that's the worst. Or well, we could go for grip, I suppose. I don't know what the difference between grip and handling are. They used to be the same in most racing games. How can you have great grip and terrible handling? Hmm, maybe it's stuck to the uh, the track like super glue. We're in the desert zone. Desert drag. Right, this is for our qualifying. Hopefully I can get on the boots a bit earlier this time. Right, get ready. Three. Go! Right, let's speed this thing. Let's beat my opponent. Up through the gears to third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. I'm losing it in fourth to fifth gear. Sixth gear. Wait for the boost. Beyond that straight away. There we go. Yum. Am I going to be back of the... Oh, my boost run out there. Are we going to be back of the grid or are we going to be a bit better? I don't know what a drone racer is. Is that what the Lego set was called? Yeah, I'm at the back. 20.55. Terrible. He will start last on the grid. You need to come first, Will. I could do that. Right, I got a good start last time. Hopefully I can just plot a path through these slow starters. It's an off-road track. We're in the desert, and that's all you need to know. Crusher Beach, this is called. Hmm. Don't sound very relaxing, Crusher Beach. Right, check out the map. There's a tight, there's one tight corner there. Not that tight. Whoa, they're a very slow start in this mob. And I'm straight into the lead again. Yeah, so this game is a little bit easy. Uh, hopefully we'll get this beginner cup out of the way, the drone cup, and I'll show you one race of the next one up, see if it gets any more difficult. Because uh, I think close racing, this should be quite awesome. Um, two Game Boys linked together, you can do four player. I think it does bolster split screens, so that'd be... <laughs> see how that copes with that. So that'd be quite manic. Can't beat good split screen retro action. The engine sounds are, are adequate without being sensational, but what does a Lego car sound like anyway? Probably not as beefy as this. Lego, I haven't played with Lego for ages. I'd love to buy some Lego, but it's very, very expensive, isn't it? And I think a 40-year-old man going in to buy Lego, he'd have to pretend he's buying it for some kids that he has, but I haven't got any kids, so uh, I don't know. Whoa, cool. can, can certainly get a bit of air in this game. The car can't flip over as far as I'm aware, so it stays pretty much upright the whole way round. There's a nice tree we went past. Yeah, a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff. I don't know what those things are. Some sort of a terminal there. The sky is like yellow. It feels like we're on a weird planet, but we are in the desert. Is it on the desert on Earth, though? I like the way the track isn't just one colour. It's very different colours overlapping. Makes it interesting, makes it feel like you're on a dirt road. Let's see if it does it in any of the other stages, if it's just a normal trait. We've got some sort of weapon, it's a spinning circular thing. Final lap. Right, let's see if they can get extra quick, my opponents, on this last one. But we're going 310 miles an hour. I certainly wouldn't want to put my head out the window at that speed. Whoa, good luck. Out to the 400 then we touched there. 400 miles an hour. I think the car would take off then, wouldn't it? Without a big spoiler keeping it onto the ground with downfalls. Yeah, it would, it would just take off or flip her over. Oh, I think I can hear some cars behind me. Is there going to be a sting in the tail on the last lap? Get some air. Boom. Not as much air as I had hoped, really. First place, last lap. We can do this. Thing. Oh, here it goes. Let's cut him off. Get back. You have to ease off the accelerator around the corners. Second place, that's not good. Come on, this is the finish. Did I win? It does say first at the top there. That was very close. That was very close. 57, 49, 50. The last lap was slower than the second one. Desert Dash. 
Yeah, I've won, but exactly the same time, so that's quite generous. Hmm, couldn't get closer than the same time. Another three points, so I lead the championship on six points. I'm storming it. Next is zero on two. Third is Nitro, also on two. Right, Ooh, that's an interesting car. That must be a street car. It looks like one of those 50s cars. Shall we update this car or update the drag car to try and get a better qualifying position? Three credits, it's pretty stingy. Yeah, there's the drag car, which we keep getting last each time. Maybe a bit of extra speed. I mean, I don't think handling's too much of a difference, is it? If you're going in a straight line the whole time. I don't know. I just don't know. What would you do in this situation? I mean, grip isn't the such... Mind you, if you've got better handling or grip, it might get a better start. It might dig in a bit better. That might be a wasted credits to me, but anyway. If you played this game to death, let me know. Was that wasted credits? The drag race. Can I win at least one of these? We won't be completing the game because that would take too long. As I say, if it's the first championship, and maybe if we, if we win, which looks like we're going to, the next race of the opening championship. We're on sort of like a circuit here. It is varied. You can see there's a skyline in the background. We're in a city. So we're into the cityscapes. This bit reminds me a bit like Virtual Racer, if you're familiar with that game. Yeah, no cockpits though. Oh, look, I thought I was going to beat him there. That, that was quicker than before, surely. Yeah, look, I've qualified third. About eight tenths off the, uh, the lead. Right, third on the grid, but to be honest with you, starting from the back wouldn't be too much of a problem because my, my starts are so much quicker than everyone else's. NNN, -N -N, that's me, I'll keep that name. Good sound, good graphics, good playability, although, as I say, a little bit too easy, but let's see how the city goes. It's like a Mercedes, this, a nice silver car. Good animation for the grid. Can we just swoop past these two suckers? Yes, we can. Goodbye, lads. I'm in the lead. There's a bit of pop up there, ever so slightly, but not detriment to the game. Doesn't affect it in any way. The Game Boy Advance must really be pushing the envelope here. It wasn't designed for 3D games in mind. I wish this had come out on the Commodore Amiga. Uh, if it had done, I probably would have played it to death at the time. My favourite polygon racer there, which I'm sure I've mentioned before, is Stunt Car Racer by the amazing Jeff, Jeff Cramon. And, uh, to, and also another good polygon game in the Amiga is uh, Micro Pro Formula 1 Grand Prix. If you have an Amiga, or an emulator even, check those two out. But this, this moves very, very fast compared to those ones. Much quicker, actually. I've got a shield! These are cutting-edge graphics of the day. At the moment, that shield doesn't look too brilliant. Looks like a spider's web. Lap two. So a quick lap there. 54 seconds. We're in the lead, and I I'd imagine we're going to win this one as well. That yellow arrow is the boost, as I'm sure you're aware. Various different weapons, but not a great deal. You zip up into the 400 miles an hour. So great um, handling this car's got. I wouldn't want to travel that fast in a normal road car. Although I would have an excuse not to be late for work again. Great road markings there. Gives it a sense of speed. Boom. Oops, cut that a bit there. But in real life, if I cut, hit that at 300 miles an hour, I think the car would have flipped. Very forgiving in collisions and crashes, this. If you're into an arcade racer, you can't go wrong with this one if you have a Game Boy Advance. Would recommend it. I've been hit by a missile. That's no good. Well, I'm in second place. I've been uh, dawdling. Let's win. Final lap. I'm in the lead. Let's just hold on to this. I think we know the track now. Oi! That's it, let's get him at bay. Got a boost just when we needed it. Oh, missed that one. That would have been handy. Check out the map. There's a little gap between me and them. Oh, I said that, and then someone comes up the back there. These boosts are saving my bacon. This must be near the end now. Oh no, we've got half a lap to go. Ooh, this chap's getting on my nerves now. Maybe the difficult le difficulty level is upscaling a little. Just one corner, then a straight. I have got a weapon on me. I might have to use that. No, it's gone. That'll do. That's enough. I think that'll be enough. Core. If I didn't get that, I wouldn't have won, I don't think. First place. Thank you very much. 
Well done, Nick. You are the greatest. Super Speedway. 49.93. So that last lap by the opponent was really good. Is that the end of the championship? Have we got one more race to go? Yeah, I'm, I think I've got this championship won. Nine points. You get three for a win and uh, next down is four points. Oh, it's looking it's looking to say shall I upgrade the car? Maybe this that wasn't the last race. Saving game data. So you'd have to start from the start again. Ah, so we've got one last uh, one. We've got a drag race and then a, a proper race. Right. Let's try and get a better position this time. Full start. Well done, Nick. Get another go at it. Check I'm the red square. My opponent is the blue square. Check our progress. That wasn't the best. I should have been in first gear. Right. Blue's in the lead. I'm in the lead. We're level with each other. Come on. Just accelerate as quick as you can. No brains to it. Yeah, I'm losing it. I'm losing it about fifth gear. Yes. No. Yeah? Yeah. Damn it. Mind you, I come third last time. Where am I this time? Oh, I'm going backwards. Fourth. My boost isn't lasting very long, I should say that much. But that's the quickest a Lego car's ever gone, I would imagine. Some people are going to be Googling now. What's the quickest speed a Lego car, that's a car made out of Lego, has ever gone? Let me know. That's some research for you. G4 Street. Hmm. Oh, I'd, love a, I'd love a house along there, although my face going might get a bit funny when I go out. Because of the G-Force. There we go. Boost straight away into the lead and we won't be... We'll probably see those suckers on the last lap, won't we? They, they tend to go really quick on the last lap. For some reason. I like that yellow bit of uh, road we went past. Good. Check out Polygon Magic. Feels a bit Star Wars-y this. Are we on Coruscant? It could be Coruscant, couldn't it? They could get away with it. Oh, look at that. If this was an X-Wing, they could probably get away with that. Come on. I wish the Need for Speed games on the Game Boy Advance had used polygons. That could have worked really, really well. This reminds me a little bit of, uh, also, Aquatica, which is a track on Need for Speed 3 on the PlayStation 1. Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit, one of my favourite races of all time. I have reviewed that, but a long, long time ago, uh, that was at a point where I was just holding the camera at the screen, not very successfully. So we might have to come back to that one at some point. We have, uh, I did review the sequel though, uh, Road Challenge, I think, Need for Speed 4. And I'm, I'm busy chatting again and we're not in the lead. Whoa! Yeah, we can't crash into the scene there, no matter how big the jump. Missile? Ooh, missed him by just the narrowest of margin. Let's concentrate here. Concentrate. Level and concentrate. This guy's good. Yeah. Come back. Lap two or three. That'll do. Good. Final lap. Let's just hold on to it now. This must be the last race of the championship because it's the trickiest one. Don't hold. Oh, back wheel glance into the side, but Lego wheels are quite tough. That's a different fella that's through. That, yeah. The boosts are saving me. Check this air. Woohoo! Nice one. We've got a missile in tow, but I'm not very good at aiming these. Check out the map. We've got half a lap, just under half a lap to go. I just keep getting the boost like I am doing. It should be like taking candy from a baby. Not that I'd ever do that. I might take a suitcase of money if pushed. But why would someone let a baby look after a suitcase of money that's just asking for trouble so that's me validated we win first place kaboom right that's me winning the championship 49 47 45 the improvement is there first place for me i've won every race in this drone championship in your face exo force 12 points next place four it wasn't even a championship was it i was just too good Oh, it's asking me to upgrade the car again. I thought that was the last race. Unless we upgrade and it goes into the next championship. Grip's always handy. Otherwise, it feels like you're driving on ice. Yay! A firework display. And there's my trophy. It looks quite odd, doesn't it? it? looks like Mysterio from the Marvel comics. Drone Cup, you come first. Hooray! Now we qualify for the intermediate. 
the Pro Racer Cup, which we'll do. We'll do one more race. I mean, what's this been going on for? Just short of 20 minutes. We'll do one race here to see if the difficulty ramps up. We're back in the desert, but a drag race first, and you know what happens here. We've just got to go as quick as we can. Have we been here before? The sand looks familiar. Go! Oh dear, I should have been in first gear there. That was very good. Right, anyway. Let's beat that blue square. In your face. No, he's, he's in the lead again. I don't know what, how much you've got to upgrade this drag racer before you start getting pole each time. Boost! Yeah. Oh, so I eased, yeah, I've eased off a bit too early. Oh, we could be near the back of the grid here. My boost didn't last very long at all. I think I got a hole in my boost. There's a hole in my boost, so fix it. Something, something. Yeah, fifth on the grid, right. But this is intermediate. This isn't. This isn't lazy boy beginner mode. This is intermediate. It's where all the intermediates gather. Intermediate type off-road zone desert. Feels a bit like the crystal maze. Well, we'll select this car. It's a beach buggy, and we're back at Crusher Beach. Here we are, in our Lego car. Go! It's a flying saucer above the track. Don't remember that from before. Yeah, this is, this is a Crusher Beach, but it's a different track. Unless I'm being forgetful. Oh, nice tunnel. Look at that, that's cool. Right, this is very undulating, this track. Man, feel the Gs. I'm, uh, I feel my stomach moving here. It's, it's giving me a good illusion of going up and down. Much better than one of these flat races where you just have the same level each time. This is this is good fun, this. This is great fun, actually. Whee, look at the smoke coming up from the rear tyres on the desert. Nice rebound off the surface. Good attention to detail here. Oh, look at this, a little bit grey. That's one lap. That's the flying saucer thing. So that flying saucer thing is uh, the start-finish streak. We haven't burnt these opponents off this time. They are hanging near me, because I can hear them. Can you hear them? Or maybe it's just tinnitus that I've got. That's ringing in the ears. You don't need to look that up. Oh, get out of the way, you. Not you, that bloke behind me. Unless that is you, then get out of the way. Ooh, I feel like I'm going to see some sort of like a animal skeleton somewhere. Or some poor chap who tried to cross the desert and run out of water. Oh, hey, I got hit by a missile. That's not very good. The guy ahead of me's got a shield. So we're in. Mm, this is a bit more deadly. In third place, final lap, and we're in third. Can we? Can we win this? Mm, they are a bit trickier here. I might need another go. Right, we've got this bloke. Second place, great overtaking manoeuvre. A boost that'll help, although we grinded most of it onto the side of the track. No slipstream in this that I'm aware of. Just keep it on the track. Yeah, we got this boat. Have we got him? Take a wide line there. Get him on the inside under braking, maybe. Yeah. 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 Woohoo! Intermediates. That's no problem, old. Right. Let's finish just round here. Well, oh, that boost would have helped. Oh, no! Oh, no! See, if I got that boost, I would have won, but he got it, and then he got overtook me right at the end. Where else is. Well, you know, uh, I think we'll leave that one there. That's a good game, that. I hope you liked having a look at it. It was Drone Racers on the um, Game Boy Advance, developed by Mobius Entertainment and published by THQ in 2003. Do check out my review of Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge to see how that compares another Polygon racer. But thanks for watching, as always. Until next time, a very solid and a very warm goodbye. Goodbye.